Hot Room 21 Rockstar Families is so great to see you. We're getting into week number three of fifth grade. What an amazing, incredible week that we had last week of learning. Um, we started all content areas last week in math, reading, in social studies, and in writing, and we accomplished so much. In math, we looked at place value of whole numbers and decimals. We took our first assessment. In reading, we started our main idea. In writing, we're actually looking at really the punctuation, capitalization, and getting our writing fluency going. And finally, in social studies, we almost got over all of the eight geographic regions of North America. So, this week, I want to first start off by telling you about our rock star of the week. This week, it is Layla Moore. She and her effective effort this week were incredible, especially when it came down to the social studies assessment. So, that is why she was named this week as a rock star of the week. Congratulations to Layla. This week in all of the different subject areas we're really going to begin getting into the more challenging content and it's it's going to go really well. I have a ton of awesome activities planned so that everyone can master the material but it's also going to take that effective effort every step of the way. In math this week we're going to first tomorrow look at problem solving through a cool new program that we're starting tomorrow on the computer called VoiceThread. I think the kids are really going to love it as soon as they find out what it's all about. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to begin looking at prime and composite numbers, whether, uh, whether numbers can be divided into more than one factor or only one factor. And we're going to start factoring numbers. So we're actually going to kind of start some algebra here, um, some pre-algebra, and get ready for that. So it's going to be a very challenging week in math, but there, I have a ton of activities structured so that we can really get that under our belt. Um, towards the end of the week, I'm hoping to send home a game that you can practice with your student to get down that prime and composite number and all that vocabulary. That's one of our major focuses. In writing this week, tomorrow actually is kind of a, a slower day because we have to go to the computer lab, to the Mac lab, and actually take our baseline writing assessment. Um, it's probably going to take a major part of the day, but it's so important. Um, for us, for me, to see where all the students are at in their writing so that we can really progress that, grow that, work on that throughout the year in preparation for our writing SOL in March. Um, in reading this week, we're actually going to start our guided reading groups. Um, I'm really going to start differentiating. So students will be divided into their groups based upon their reading level. And we are really going to start getting down to the nitty gritty. and. Um, progressing the reading comprehension in all of the different areas so that we can grow it and prepare ourselves for middle school. Please remind your child to continue reading. Um, every night we'll have the 40 book goal conferences um, again this week and it's so very important that that reading just continues um, every night at home to increase the vocabulary and to get one step closer to that 40 book goal. If your child is having some anxiety about the 40 book goal, just tell them, as I tell them every day, to keep one book in mind at a time. If they look at the 40, the, the number 40 as the overall goal, that might create a little bit of anxiety, but really they're going to be able to get it if they do it one book at a time. They'll do great. Um, and finally, this week in social studies, we're going to finish up our last region. I'm sure that your child has shared with you our very fun song to the uh, tune of Treasure by Bruno Mars to help us remember the eight regions. We're going to finish the, the regions, and then we're going to start talking about the major rivers and waterways of the, nor of, of the continent of North America. Um, and by the end of the week, we'll actually be taking our Unit 1 assessment in social studies, which will cover landforms, the continents and oceans, um, the eight major regions that we're covering now, and the waterways. We're going to be studying for it a lot this week, but I also do expect the students, and we're going to talk about this tomorrow, to start studying a little bit each night to prepare for that. There might be a pop quiz at some point this week so that we're up and at them on the eight regions because it's so important that we stay ahead of the game with our social studies so that when we start further units, we have this under our belt and we have a good grasp of what the land looks like in the eight major regions. Ask your child this week to explain um, what region we live in, what different states, what region they would fall under, and what the land would look like if they travel to that part of the country. Because the major message is that every part of the country has a different terrain. That's what we're trying to picture in our minds right now. So it'd be great to have some conversations with your child at home on that. Finally, to scoop back to math really quickly, this is a moment in time this week when the multiplication facts are going to be key 
um, for understanding and prime and composite numbers, what we're going to start learning. So please continue to practice those at home. Every day at the beginning of math class, we practice our math facts. Two times a week, students take a time math fluency test so we can see where they're at. And I'm also going to be introducing a ton of interesting and fun ways to practice those multiplication facts at home. In fact, on our website tonight, you'll be able to find a link to download an actual video game, computer video game, to practice multiplication facts. So if you're okay with that being downloaded on your computer, I have it on my computer, so it's totally safe. It's a really interactive um, video game that's really in line with the video games of today that practices the multiplication facts because we want them to become automatic. Finally, if you ever have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. Continue to check up on our Class Fusion page every week. I have all of the information about what we're doing that week, our schedule, links to different websites, and also check on our Class YouTube page. I cannot explain to you how excited I am to begin this week with the Rockstars and all of the great knowledge that we'll be learning this week. Have a great week to the best families in Stafford County.